Sí. Some people, there's two people that have said that. I'm like, no, it's not slow. What the hell's wrong with you? I've been listening to this for 30-something years. Well, I just played along to Suicide Solution on this guitar, which is tuned down half step, and it was in tune. So I go to the beginning, which is the intro, which is supposed to be a half step down. And uh, did I play to that? Because... If that guitar is in tune, then it is exactly a half step. Which is strange that it would be so exact. Because I know that sometimes they would tune down like a whole step. So the Concord and the black one would be tuned down a whole step and the other other two would be tuned down a half. It's not hard on the guitar's neck at all for Ozzy's voice because Ozzy's just struggling almost every friggin' night. So they tune down even more. I've got a friggin' uh, uh, Suicide Solution uh, version of it where he is he starts out and it's tuned down, you know, a whole step. <laughs> He does the whole, you know, I'm like, what the hell? That's low, but its whole thing is tuned down, a whole step. So, who knows? I don't know. It is, it, they're right. So these people, I can't start yelling at them or whatever. I usually don't yell at them. I'm just like, eh, get off. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, it is. It's slow. And I don't know if it's the, uh, it must have been the soundboard because it literally, he got the tape, he, his dad gave him a reel to reel. We took that and made cassettes from that. So somebody's reel to reel must have been just a little slow. I don't know. But so he's like, so this is the highest quality. It's slow. Shut up, idiot. The whole point of my bootleg and putting it out is it's a soundboard recording and you get to hear that, you know, stereo delay that he was doing that when you heard it live, a guy on here put it very, very good that it sounded like the friggin' sky was splitting open. It just was unbelievable. It was an unbelievable effect live. Here, it's really drastic because they were controlling it at the soundboard. That's why you hear that beep, 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 whatever. But sometimes it's lined up perfectly. And it's all, the guy is controlling that delay at the board. From what I was told. Randy didn't tell me that. I didn't go running up to him every time I saw him, and I didn't see him that many times after he was in Aussie. 
I did take those lessons. I took a few of them, but I didn't talk about back there. I could learn one of his songs like I did, Suicide Solution, and uh, I don't know. Not I don't know, I don't know. And that's it. And, uh, yeah, very few people took the lessons because he didn't want, he charged a lot. I think it was 25 bucks a lesson, I think. I could be wrong. But he t he gave some, it was the same time, I think. I'm not, I wouldn't bet my life or your life on it as the Quiet Riot reunion. But he did give lessons just to ground himself. And he took a few students in that was willing to, were willing to pay that I said, oh, yeah. I ran over to his house. I'm like, dude, I heard this. Yes, I, I want in. So I got in. So that was cool of him, I thought. Um, there you go. I'm done. Uh, comment. Please. Subscribe. I don't know if I'm going to put this up tonight or whenever, but uh, there you go. Just comment and subscribe and uh, mainly comment, you know? I want to hear what you guys have to say and think and, and ask me questions. Jog my my slushy memory because not only all the alcohol and drugs and partying, not only that, but the coma I was in 10 years ago really did a number on my memory. So I can't just like, well, there was a time. People have to bring it up. People have to ask me something. And then I'm like, oh, yeah. That's right. So feel free.